Good morning all, camelbacktrading.org. Coming to you this Friday morning, May 26th. We are looking at Window Traders market profile of the ES and SPY. Last trading day of the week, three days to go in this trading month. A lot still on the table. We do have PCE out this morning. I would think um, hopefully we get some decent action uh, in the morning. Uh, beginning of a three-day weekend, a lot of people either take off today as a whole or leave early. So we'll see if uh, we do dry up as the day goes on. But hopefully we get some activity in the morning. Right now, look at this. After a wide overnight pock, again, I'm in twos, but it's still very wide. Um, we are now pushing to our overnight highs. Uh, in the overnight, we got briefly below our afternoon pullback low in ES. NQ, look at NQ. They got below their afternoon pullback in K. Look where they are now. They have single prints here in the pre-market as they make new highs. Again, the problem that traders, they just don't understand. Wait till a market comes into balance, especially when the market's raging to the upside or downside and the bigger picture, which is the monthly and weekly, which the NASDAQ is doing. Okay, yes, they came into balance briefly uh, on the daily and actually went down for a day. But then right back to balance and now trying to go higher again, right? Market went bull, balance, back to bull. So they're pushing higher this morning. Righty went out with the afternoon rally high in J when they took back their trend day. They have a wide overnight pocket and right now they're attempting to trade above yesterday's value. As far as we go, um, we're in balance. Now again, I said I'm calling this a three-day balance, which would be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Some people might only call it a two-day balance. So if we take out yesterday's high, some people will call it up. And I have no problem with that. I would still call it balance unless we take out Tuesday's high. Okay, that's how I'm looking at it. Remember, we just missed the afternoon rally high in J from Tuesday yesterday in both ES and SPY. So if we take out yesterday's high, that will be um, uh, the first target. Um, so the game plan this morning, again, we have 75, 80 minutes to go prior to the opening. So again, it depends where the overnight high is. If the overnight high is around here, I think that's a good risk award trade, um, between the overnight high for a short yesterday's high and even the afternoon rally high from the second, you know, you're talking about, uh, you know, I don't mind that kind of trade to take, to see if they, uh, the first time they get rejected. It would be with higher value. It wouldn't be because I think the market's bad, but because we are so visual and mechanical in the S&P, those are levels they might stop at. Any acceptance above J high from Tuesday? Well, then it's good odds, right? We can go back. We're going to go test days low. That's where change took place on that day when we went lower. And so that'd be another visual area. And then they would go for Tuesday's high. Um, on a pullback, now, our POC only ended, I think, eight wide yesterday. We never got nine wide. Um, so, again, any pullback into value, would then buyers have to worry, again, just you know, about getting acceptance back in and going down to test our wide overnight POC and possibly our afternoon pullback. Again, in the trading room, you're getting this as uh, the market develops every 30-minute time frame um, of as a live webinar. I'll be recapping all of these charts tonight. Let's go just to the daily right now for SPY. So again, you can call it a two-day balance, you can call it a three-day balance, right? But I can't call it up because markets don't go bull bear um, or bear bull. So we went bear back to balance yesterday. So again, my big point is not so much yesterday's high or low, but it's Tuesday's high or Wednesday's low. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Good luck trading today, and we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.